You want to know one thing that separates a lot of successful people from unsuccessful people? Being proactive versus being reactive. I'm over here in this parking lot just kind of trying to collect my thoughts about, you know, things that are going on in the world and how I should respond to them. But one of the things that I really want you all to understand is that, you know, there's only three types of people in the world. There's people that make things happen, people that watch things happen, and people that wonders what happened. And the number one way to make sure that you don't reach a level of success in your life is to sit back and wonder what happened. How did we get here? How did this happen to me? Who did what? Where is everybody going? You know, when you kind of have that mentality about life and you can't understand things that are happening right before your eyes, you're in a bad spot because you're not positioning yourself in the right place for success. You know, maybe there's a lot of you right now that you're asking yourself after this election, what happened? You're wondering. But my question to you is, why are you cut off guard? Why were you not anticipating a different turn of events? See, in everything in life, even if you want one outcome to happen, you always got to prepare for the next one. You always got to be prepared. You got to stay ready so that way you don't have to get ready. Because guess what? If things tend to happen in your life and it doesn't go the way that you want it to go, or life throws you a curveball, are you prepared for it? See, the main thing that I want y'all to understand and take away from this video is if life throws you a curveball and you never once prepared for it, you never once anticipated, you know what, something different can happen than what I might expect. If life comes your way and you are always on the reactive, you're just waiting for things to change and that's the only time that you take action, then you only have yourself to blame for why you're not prepared for the outcome. Life's not always going to go your way. Things are not always going to go down the way that you want it to go down. But you know one thing that you should do to make sure that your life still comes out on top? The number one thing that you should do is prepare for the outcome regardless of whatever the outcome may be. Right? Proactive versus reactive. Proactive means I see a problem coming. I see the worst could happen. I see the storm coming before it actually gets here. So I'm going to be prepared. Reactive means I'm not going to do anything about my situation up until the storm comes. I don't care if I'm sitting outside, no umbrella, no raincoat. You just wait for the storm to come and then wash you away. So then that's showing you that when the storm actually comes, it's not actually the storm's fault on why you're washed away. You only have yourself to blame for letting yourself be in the eyes of the storm in the first place when you knew that it was coming. This is the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people. You have certain foresight when you are proactive. That's what you need to have. You have to be able to say, you know what? If I'm a proactive person, that means I got to start thinking about my health. Not when I'm sitting in a doctor's office and they're telling me I only have three months to live. That means I need to stay in the gym. I need to stay eating right or I need to stay on top of things because there may come a day where I am told that I only have three months to live. These are the thoughts that you have to have as a proactive person. As somebody that's proactive, right? I'm gonna go ahead and have a seat, get a taste of the scenery around here. As a proactive person, when you are trying to get your money together, you don't wait till you get broke and then wanna get your money together. You don't wait until the eviction notice comes, then try to get things together. You have already been planning to stop the eviction before it comes. You have already been planning long before the bill collectors even call you to stop that situation from happening. You don't wait for the foreclosure notice to come and then say, oh, you know what? 
I should have been prepared. Now is the time to get the budget together. No, because it's too late for you. You've been caught off guard by that point. And you can only blame yourself for going through life with blinders on. See, there's a life that's all around you. But the life that you know is only what you can see, right? Maybe you don't see everything that's around you because you're not really looking like you should be. You are reactive. You have to be proactive rather than reactive. Remember, there's three types of people in the world. People that make things happen. The people that make things happen, you know what these type of people are? These are people that are proactive because they have a vision in their mind and they have enough foresight on what could be rather than what is. See, the reason why most people are reactive is because they can't see what's not already here. You cannot see beyond what's right in front of me, right? That's what being reactive is all about. If you're somebody that's proactive, you're able to say, you know what? If nobody else sees this vision that I have, I see it. Therefore, I'm going to take action. Because if I don't take action on this, somebody else is going to do it, and then I wish I had done it. This is what reactive people do. How many times have you ever found yourself in a situation where maybe you had this invention, maybe you thought about this really good idea that you could have shared with the world, but then as you're sitting back, not doing anything with it, you start to see somebody else has come up with the exact same invention. Somebody else has had that exact same idea. And you say to yourself, man, if I would have only taken action, if I would have only been the self-starter, if I would have only not waited around for everybody else to validate me on why I should take the first step forward in my life, then I would have been the person that would have invented this then I would have been the person that would have been able to get out of the hood. Then I would have been the person that would have been able to receive the benefits of changing the world. But because of the fact that this doesn't happen and you're just waiting for somebody else to take the first step, you're never gonna come in the race first. You're always gonna come in second, right? And the problem is nobody remembers the person that wins the race except number one. In other words, nobody remembers the person that comes in second place. Because there is no win if you're not number one. So if you're not taking the number one step and being proactive, then you're not even in the game. Why even run the race? Why even compete in this game called life if you're not trying to be proactive? You can't wait for everybody else. You can't wait for somebody else to dictate to you what your life should look like and when. Now is the time to put life in your own hands. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave me a comment right now and I want you to tell me in a nutshell what has your life been like? Are you the person that goes through life that makes things happen? Whenever God gives you uh, an opportunity, do you capitalize on it? Are you the person that makes things happen? Or are you the person that watches things happen? Maybe you're the person that's watching the news. Maybe you're the person that's watching somebody else be great. Maybe you're the person that's watching somebody else blow up, even though you could be the person that's blowing up. Are you the person that watches things happen? Or are you the person that wonders what happens? Everybody else got the memo. Everybody else saw the storm coming. But you're like, why is everybody getting a coat? Why is everybody getting an umbrella? What y'all going inside for? And then you find yourself being swept away by the storm. And everybody is looking at you like the victim. Even though you know in your mind, because you were just sitting around wondering and not going and moving on the inside, you really know that you were being a fool. Because if you would have did the homework, done the research, did what you were supposed to do to prepare, you would have never gotten swept away. Are you the person that makes things happen, watches things happen, or wonders what happened? I don't know about you, but I'm trying to run this race and be number one. I want to be the person that 
makes things happen. I don't want to be the person that sits back and says, what happened to my life? Oh, this person did this, this person did that, this person won this, this person won that. What has happened to me? Unbothered, unmoved by anything has happened because I've already prepared for the worst of situations. So I want you to leave me a comment, let me know. Please subscribe to this channel. If you're a person that makes things happen, please subscribe to this channel. If you're a person that just watches things happen, then my videos really aren't for you because I'm here for the pace setters. I'm here for the go-getters. I'm here for the people that look at life and say, you know what? I'm not comfortable with the hand that's being dealt to me. I'm going to change the hand. That's the person I'm looking for. If you're that type of person, subscribe to this channel now. Are you a person that makes things happen, watches things happen, or wonders what happened? Subscribe to this channel. Let's make things happen. And together, between me and you, we can change the world.